Let's move on the Washington football team. I know that you absolutely love these guys. Uh, Ron Rivera and his bunch. Their win total this year, eight and a half. Uh, to go over is minus 120. To go under is minus 110. Uh, oh, for the Eagles, to go under, by the way, was plus 125. Yeah, I was about to say, you're getting great odds at going under, too. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, crap. Um, That's two owners we're getting positive odds on. Yes. I mean, it's it's insane. So, Washington, uh, to win the division, they're number two, plus 225. To win the NFC, number eight, plus 220. Sorry, plus 2200. And to make the playoffs, they are plus 130. Uh, no is minus 160. Schedule win total has gone under six to the last 11, but it's over three, two, and one over the last six. They did push one of those years. They went over the five and a half last year. Of course, they won the NFC East. Uh, quick note about that. It has been 16 seasons since we've had a repeat champion in the NFC East. That's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. So, I don't know what that means for this year, but either way, uh, on offense, they brought in Fitzmagic. They brought in wide receiver Curtis Samuel. They drafted wide receiver De'Ami Brown out of North Carolina in the third round. I think he's going to be a stud. Offense last year was number 31 in EPA, and Fitz himself, as out of all the quarterbacks, was number six. Number five in air yards over the last, like, five years. So, this offense is going to look so different. Yes. Those skilled um, players that they have. The so they're they're a projected favorite in only three games. They have got it, it per the opponent win percentage uh, schedule strength. They have got the number fifteen schedule. It, you look at Warren Sha- uh, Warren Sharp stuff, and they have got like the number eight toughest schedule in the NFL this year. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tough. Uh, the defense signed cornerback William Jackson the third. They drafted uh, Yaman Davis, Jamin Davis out of Kentucky. Here's the deal: Ron Rivera knows how to win. Um, Jack Del Rio's defense was number three in EPA last year. They were number eight in pressure rate. I I believe in this team. However, like Fitzpatrick, even with all of his offense and all that good stuff, going up against the schedule, I think it's going to be kind of tough, man. I I have actually got them going under the eight and a half, but only by half a game. I've got them winning eight games. But it, you look at that schedule, and it is just hardcore, man. Like, that's, that's the only reason. So I've got them not making the playoffs at minus 160. Give give me. I know you're going over because there's over, no way you could. Bigly over. This is an 11 to six football team. I think they're going to dominate this division. <laughs> I don't think there's a game. There's a world where they might split with Dallas. I think if if you told me, do I think there's a better chance that they go six and zero or five and one? I think there's a better chance they go six and zero against this division. I just do. I think they're set up the way they are built. They're set up and they are built to beat this team. These teams. All right. Are they going to struggle with some of these other teams? Yes. But I think this offense is going to look way different, way different than what it looked like last year. They have speed like nobody's business, and they had nobody who could throw the ball down the field. And let me tell you what, when Ryan Fitzpatrick absolutely can air it out, and he's going to let these young guys run. They are, these are going to be horses that have the reins taken off of them for the first time in the NFL. And I'm going to tell you this, the first four to five weeks, DBs are going to be losing their shit trying to figure out who do we put to cover these dudes because we never saw how fast they could be in the past because they were never able to run wide open ever because they didn't have a trigger man who could get them the ball downfield. You you might be right about that. I but. love, I love, lo- don't like, love, this football team. I think they've got a dark horse chance of winning the NFC this year. I know that's crazy. That's it. Then you better get them odds plus 2,200. I would not. I don't, I don't know that I want to bet it, but I, I might just for a little bit, just to have a ticket to say, I've got a ticket, man. Um, I really think they're good. I believe in Ron Rivera. I believe in defense. I think there's a chance where last year they were the third best defense. I think they're better this year. And I, I know that I, I worship at the feet of miles Garrett. If there was anybody I was going to get a ticket on outside of Miles, not name Miles Garrett for Defensive Player of the Year, it'd be Chase Young. Yeah, no, he was he was good last year. Nobody paid attention, and, and I think he's going to be better. I think he's going to be a lot better. I think everybody's going to be by week six. Everybody in the country is going to be paying attention to this team. I, a, we all know their defense is going to be good. We're going to be have our hair blown back. I think early in seasons, I'm I think you're going to have a lot of value on the over with this team because I think they're all going to assume low-scoring games, and I think their offense is going to be a lot better than people expect, and it's going to catch them off guard. They're, uh, they're scheduled to start off with. Uh, they 
open with the Giants at home. And then they have, oh, no, sorry. Sorry, regular season. season. Let's roll with that. Uh, the Chargers at home, then the Giants, then at Buffalo, at the Falcons, Saints, Chiefs. That's week six. So, you think they can get through week six, huh? Yeah, I do. Now, they're not going to win all of those games, obviously, but I think they can hang with all of those teams. I, th- I think they're going to beat some of those teams. I think they're going to beat most of them, actually. And check out this stretch. Uh, from week five through week ten, there is a buy in there. But week five, of course, the Saints, Chiefs, at the Packers, at the Broncos, and the Bucks. We're going we're gonna to get there, and I know I'm stepping on it now. That Saints game ain't, ain't worrying me a bit. I, I might agree with you. We're, we're going to get there. I think, I, think, I think that team is looking so, like some problems. So right you, you have got the Redskins winning the division. I got not the football, the, not team, the, the football team. team. Sorry. Uh, I, I might never get used to that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.